EA Sports within the game. was like a superhero on that run. in the NFL. We are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. Oh, good looking return set up here. He's at the 40. Past the 20. He will score. Touchdown. So how about that? You want to talk about coming into a hostile environment and just silencing the crowd. They just did it. Couldn't be a better start. There is no way. All week long, they've talked about having this type of a start. But I think they looked at it from the offensive team's perspective. You know, get the opening kickoff. You guys control the ball. A lot of people are now going to say, OK, now your offense, will they be out of whack? No, not at all. They're going to be absolutely happy. They're relaxed. They took care of business for them. They don't have any pressure now. They can just go play. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. And they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Mahomes to throw once more. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Mahomes throwing on four. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. On first and ten, Stafford. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. McCoy Hardman, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. 
One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. He'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Going right back to Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They're coming to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Touchdown run, and the Rams have moved down in front. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On play action, it's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. Locates Hardman for another catch. And he will take it on in for the Chiefs touchdown. Miko Hardman with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Mahomes will throw for it. It's complete, and he will not get there as the try for two is unsuccessful, and they will remain down by a point. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh-huh. That's the excuse that you always use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person when it's play played well and is skillful. I'm with it, and right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. And he is going to lose yardage here. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Stafford now to throw. That'll be caught. It's caught. Touchdown, Rams. Matthew Stafford, two touchdown passes in this first quarter as his guys are able to extend their lead. 
Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to it. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try to discourage them from throwing the ball. Gay now set to kick it off. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy, ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. You know, he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he will have the Chiefs first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 61 yards. And the Chiefs are back within a couple of the lead. They'll try and throw for it. And now he's going to go down. A big sack, and they're unable to tie it. Well, they're down only one score, still first half. But they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Had a TED talk with the higher me, show me how to run it up, I need all my cheese. Every day that I wake up, I'm pinching myself, can't believe that I'm really me. Popping shows in New Zealand, boy, you is not eating, man, we do not play in the same league. I gave my mama some racks and she asked me if I'm selling tricks, I said, mama, please. If I was, do you think I'd let you know? Got so many memories that I made on Cascade Road. This is God-given, so I thank her as I go. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Rams. we go from SoFi Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. 
And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. First down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll go again here with Akers. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got room. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Cousins. All right, right for one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by... Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line. He'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. Despite a little power on the move, still tackled shy of the 20. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Los Angeles Rams and the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway at a 
Allegiant Stadium. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Carr right away going to look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Stafford going to give this to Okers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. here up the middle and he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line that's a gain of 13 first down Rams you were telling me this yesterday this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we we're talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly it's a big man's game it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get leverage knock people back and establish the run early. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams are on the board first here in Vegas. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, good return up past the 30. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, 
everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays, try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's Carr to throw. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. They'll drop to throw. It's caught. Left side, Bolden. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. They'll go for it. It's Carr. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll run on first down with Akers. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a good gain of 11.